Hey guys, welcome back. Maurice here, and today we have question to Radeon or not the Radeon. That is the question. All right, uh, we are looking. Well, everyone is looking at Radeon 5700 and 5700 XT cards. So uh, I, this is my takeaway. Um, let's see what we have there. Uh, I will explain quickly what what I was trying to do and what I did is. Um, Graphics card are, uh, cards are way harder to compare because there are many manufacturers, many base clocks, overclocks. Uh, there's n not a single entity like for AMD or Intel. There's just AMD creates, um, makes AMD CPUs and that's it. But well, for graphics card, it's a bit more trickier. Well, but, uh, and the prices and the markets and it, it's so, so it's too big of a mat matrix. Uh, so what I did is simple. Uh, you probably know user benchmark. Um, this is average, fastest average speed GPU. So this is the list of GPUs sorted out and I'm, I'm taking simple um, average bench uh, number, which is on live people. Yes, there might be someone running this test where CPU is a bottleneck. Someone has some serious issues, but in and out, it is average. It's like absolute average of the average from the average from the real actual run test. So I and afterwards I took I will give you a list. So basically these are the uh, GPUs I have in my list. And if you compare and find anywhere information comparing um, RTX 2080 versus uh, Radeon 7 or any of these cards, you will find that on average um, Cinebenchs and, and 3D Marks and, and game uh, frames per second are in such order. So the list, for example, um, if you look at pure average, it, it will be supported by many 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 benchmark videos and and uh, results and basically so that's that's the list that's i'm going with and i'm taking the ranks from user benchmark you will see this is the titan uh, rtx and i'm taking the values from here basically the the rating that that's it the higher rating the better the card simple as that so it's not a single particular games benchmark because there's always some something in favor of a amd somewhere for nvidia so that that's that okay that's explained if you don't like such approach it's all good you can stop watching it's, it's all fine so that's the ranking right this is the first chart we have there uh, obviously i'm uh, coloring out the red team red yeah team red and um next next part which is most important for most of you guys and me especially because i'm also looking at my video card and thinking should i buy it or not is the price and price i will give you a quick example uh what, how i took the price for nvidia cards because that's a bit different for nvidia cards my pick this is a P pc parts picker i i would my, me personally, I would try to pick a card either it's manufactured by MSI, Gigabyte, EVGA or ASUS. Basically all those four manufacturers are top. Uh, my per personal preference is MSI. Currently I'm running with Gigabyte card and these are top brands that basically manufacture good cards. You can find cheaper. The same um, Zotac is one of the cheapest. I would not buy for myself. So simple as that. I'm picking all those four manufacturers. As you can see, if you're looking at um, 2070 Super, I'm picking the most, 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 the, the, the cheapest ever. And yes, it's Ventus is something weird and little, probably you can get better, but just for the simple um, reasoning, I'm picking the, the cheapest. What's, what's for rest of the cards? Um, that, that's basically what we're looking at. AMD cards, they are manufactured only. There's no other manufacturers and the prices are basically fixed. So, uh, and, and those are the blower coolers, which is something we will touch a little bit later. And that's, that's the price. And if you look at, this is in dollars, US market. 
this is DE, so Deutschland, Germany, Europe, Euros, approximately around the same. If you take take in consideration the um, currency value, it's, it's basically the same. And if you look at um, UK, this is part speaker UK, similar, really really freaking similar so it was already in my previous video notice that if you look across the markets the prices are really 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 similar there there is no magic land where in great britain or or in germany or in us everything is cheap and and, and that screws up the um, chart basically no it's it's equal it, it equals out so uh, i'm for the just sake of the simplicity I'm taking US dollars, everyone understands the currency, so here we go. Uh, now, when all that is explained, how it's done, uh, it's it will be quite simple. Uh, down in the description are links, links to this particular, uh, I will share the Google chart, so you can see for yourself, it will not be allowed to edit, but um, all right. Three, these three are just copy paste. Only difference is this is ranked by this is sorted by ranking so and straight away if you want best of the best graphics card here you go that's your answer titan rtx go for it simple as that and you will be happy okay now part of the viewers are out of the way uh let's move on to the next segment if you want to be smart and by smart means uh this is calculation between ranking versus price which means um, rank is basically how good uh, this for example rtx is but how much it costs and it costs freaking huge ton of money so this is basically uh, how, how how much costs one ranking point it's you can divide either way but the, the idea is simple so this would be the smartest because this card radeon rx vega previous card 56 is the cheapest for the ranking you can get yes the card itself is pretty poorly ranked but the price is just sweet all right so if you want to be smart here you go here you go ladies and gentlemen go grab your vega 56 it's cheap as fuck and no one can ever tell you no that's a bad card you will always pick up the uh, this this chart and say yeah that's the most efficient spent dollar all right and no one can be that you are winner of course there might be some other other cards but i will not go there all right from the list yes basically all all three four cards you can see where already are 5757 xt is already pretty well ranked all right all right, when then I see everyone already left off to buy uh, Vega 56, then there's a third chart. If you are, I don't know, for any reason out of all the money and you can't afford anything and you just want to buy, buy cheapest, right? You can't afford, uh, that, that, that might be a case. You want really, really the game, but you want something cheapest. It's still, it's it's this, this time it's, uh, GTX 1660 Ti. This is the cheapest card. If you don't have any spare bucks, yeah, it's it's still it's worst in the ranking as you see. But uh, if you don't have money, go there. All right, simple as that. So now we have all three sections, and now the question is where stands Radeon 5700 and 5700 XT? All right, and that's basically the video is about. Um, these charts are nothing new, nothing you can find in them everywhere. Google yourself and then you will see what's the cheapest, what's the pff, anything. But the question starts get it, it gets interesting where I actually thought they will never be as good as they apparently are. So as you see, let me quickly explain. So we are taking three rankings, basically. Um, how the card is performing. If the card is the worst from this list, it receives one point. One point goes to like like in Eurovision. <laughs> and if the, the best card receives that the highest score, so currently we have 18 uh, cards. And then again, this is the next ranking. As you can see, RTX is on opposite side of this. So 
RTX uh, Titan receives only one point here, right? And then if you're, and we are looking also at the price because you know, you see the difference, this 10 times, 10 times more expensive cards we are looking. So again, here, Titan RTX is totally losing where um, GTX is pretty, yeah, best because it's cheapest. All right, and this this is the basically updated list. I will not go lower than that. So you can see every card has all those rankings, and that's that's about it. This is this is where our new Radeon RX 70, 5700 and 5700X. I hate to pronounce those titles. Uh, it's shining here. Why it's different size? What the hell? So, yes. So that's that's that. You see, the ranking is pretty high. From 18, it scores pretty good. In from price point, it scores pretty good. From um, dollar spent per um, ranking, it scores pretty freaking good. And um, now the question is, what are your what are you looking for? Because it's always be the question for you. If you have plenty of money, like, like you have no limits, so it's a simple game, go here. If you have some limitations, yeah, you look at this chart. If you want to take in consideration all of those aspects, which basically might be the case, uh, here is one list. This is only ranking and price. Um, price taken right rank and price which basically is the same uh, then then this list uh, is, is ordered like that if you want to take in consideration all of those three um, values which I would consider myself this is what I'm doing and uh, this is summed up so basically the, the chart looks pretty funny that all three best cards on overall rating score is Yes, our, our new cards, our Radeon 5700 XT, and then basically Vega, and, and they all are pretty, pretty similar, close enough. Because even if Vega is really, really poor ranked, it's the best from the price perspective and, and price per uh, game. That's it. And this is the list. I will leave it like that. It's it's That would be my suggested order if you want to take best, smartest, and cheapest. If you combine all those three those values, uh, that's that's the card. Yes. And um, when that is out of the way, two extra uh, last two graphics, not graphics tables, I will show, and the video is over. Um, this is again um, similar thing but explained uh, simple here we are looking at 27 as a base so this is the base and we are looking at benefit how much better the next upgraded version uh, in, in scoring um, you will get and at what cost so basically if you think to buy maybe 20 uh, 60 super you will uh, get two percent boost on average that's the rank uh, ranking two percent boost but at almost 20 percent cost so obviously it's not worth it right and and for example here if you go 2080 it's 20 percent boost it's 20 percent better uh, speed and 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 benchmarking and all that but at what price well 74 percent more expensive and this is just a simple help here um i'm, I'm taking out so uh, that's the cost you want as low as possible the increased price and as, as high as possible benefit so yeah no benefit here this titan rtx nope not worth it so only the funny thing what comes up is if you look at um 5700 xt it is 15 percent better but only 14 percent more expensive so that would be one to go and another is our already mentioned vega it is only 11 percent um worse but 20 percent uh cheaper so you you get more out of your buck that's that's again proven by the list uh above and yeah the 
last option basically is the cheapest one because that's really cheap but considerably well, uh, worth performing as well. And here is the same just for XT version. So base is here. This is the zeros. And you see this is just, just simple. And again, uh, approximately the same uh, performance per buck uh, for 5700 and 5700 XT is, is the same. And then the, the third option that the only I can, can suggest is Vega 56. That's it. Not even a Vega um, 64. I don't know why the Vega is only 4% uh, lower performing, but the price, the price goes up. I don't know why. Well, yeah. Anyways, this is the information and but there's just last but everyone else already left the video but i will mention this and i'm not the only one please 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 consider before buying to wait and get um from other uh, manufacturers with better cooling there is a lot of criticism regarding this blower cooler uh even if if the performance is so great you see it for the price and all that my I, I, I'm putting all my all, all all my money on on the um, when the new cards, the same MSI uh, EVGA uh, will come out with proper cooling, like I don't know triple fan, double fan cooling system, they will run better. They will they will outperform. Uh, that that's all. It, it was always the case in before with uh, Nvidia cards and with with um, the same Radeon. The blowers, blower cards never outperform the, the normal uh, cooling system. It's, it's just, it's don't take my word for it. Go Google uh, the all other cards where we had blower system, and then afterwards uh, some some other manufacturer put a proper cooling. It always went better. So it is already awesome card to get. This this I will show this. Yes, new AMD um, RX. 5700 are really awesome performing with the price taken in consideration all that really cool cards but wait a little bit until we get some some even better upgraded versions that that's my only takeaway if you were really really want your new gpu go grab one but afterwards you will bite in your fingers because the, the i believe the proper cooling cards will will be better trust me on that all right uh that's it uh, i will wrap the video uh, i will leave just on the screen so you can see the how it looks like yeah the funny thing is uh, you see the supers are quite um, good in the overall ranking as well but all these uh, yeah and mostly just because the price you see the same rtx it's really the best in, in ranking but it's not smart to buy and it's fucking expensive to buy it's just doesn't doesn't add up yeah all right anyways this was maris this this is my takeaway and and guys yeah it's, it's always right down in the comment section there's so many many aspects how to look at these cards and all that uh you probably have some some objections and or whatever but uh i'm making such i always make such uh graphics just for myself to understand what but what what's the benefit and currently i'm running uh 1070 so which, which is one of the worst cards ever <laughs> so for me it would be quite smart to pick something better uh, anyway so the, yeah this is also informational for me to understand what to do when the new card comes out and when the new prices are, are on market so yeah thanks for watching liking video and subscribing always helps for my channel and shows uh, your support uh, or probably i will have a lot of dislikes because someone thinks otherwise that's always the case all right guys thanks for watching this was maurice and we will meet in next videos cheers bye